hi besties welcome back to this out of fashion on another episode on how to cut and sew so this tutorial is going to be on how to cut this short dress you are seeing on the screen you can see it so i'm combining these two fabric together this is a duchess fabric a plain duchess fabric and the other one is a flat duchess fabric if you want to cut this out you will need three yard of this fabric that means one and a half yard of the plane one and a half yard of the flowered one then you now fold it into four you fold it into four that means the first one and a half yard will be into two like this then the other one and a half yard will also be into two on each other so it will not be into four you now start taking your necessary measurement so this is after folding it out you can see the two they are on one another you can see them then i'm going to take the necessary measurement i'm taking the length of the sleeve first which i'll be stopping at the plane you can see it's not equal to the flat so i'm using 15.5 inches i'm using the whole length of this wideness you can see so here we cannot take our shoulder slant because the way i folded this out since the plane is not up to the flower it has given out a shoulder slant already so that is why i'm not going to take my shoulders i'll just go straight to the um to the sleeve the kindness of the sleeve here yeah? which is good. eight inches you can see this is where my eight inches is then i'll i'll notch it like this with the chalk so i'll not come to this other side of the of the body you can see this is center of both back and front i'll make it of 8.5 here because it goes up with 0.5 inches the folding is slant already so it goes up with 0.5 inches than this other side that's why we are adding that 0.5 inches to this point so to get our straight line so it's from that line now and i'm going to take my bust measurements to be 40 inches because the main measurement the main bust measurement for this particular person is 36 inches so i've had it four inches to it already because i want it to be free but what of that allowance that i'm still going to use to join this particular side you no know, it's, it's in pieces you have to join there and you have to add your allowance to it to make it okay when you sew it in. so that is why we now go ahead now and still had one inch for the seam allowance you can see we are often up to five inches of allowance so it, it will not tie it at all so this is the one inch of the seam allowance i'm adding to the bust so i will now have to connect it to the sleeve side like this then from this point to i'm slanting it down to the full length of this dress full length of the dress you can see just slant it down a little bit just a slanting you can see the way i'm slanting so by the time i'm cutting it out you're going to see how the shape is going to come out nice as you can see this is our length the length here is 20 29 inches the 29 inches is with the same allowance so this is where we are coming to so I'll now go ahead now and cut it out so you can see after cutting the sunshade I come to the thickness of the sleeve can see the allowance so yes yeah, cutting it from the allowance there is slant it down to the full length of the dress so let me do that now before we now cut out our neckline So this is after cutting it out, you can see how it is, you can see the hammer, you can see the sleeve, you can see the full length of the dress. So the nice thing here is to cut out the neckline. So but I will try and take um once one play one pattern for the front, one play one pattern for the back. So the one that is going for the front will cut out the neckline separately. Then the one that is going for the back will also cut it out separately. So you can see now. I'm trying to arrange it very well just to make it firm so that when you are, when we cut out the neckline everything will be equal you know is in pieces so you just have to be patient while placing it on each other for you to cut out the neckline 
so the neckline is the widest i'm using here i'm making so 3.5 inches so normally it's supposed to be three inches but because we're still going to join it at the at the center that's why i'm adding half inch to it you can see the deepness is just two inches that i'm going to connect them together you can see then i'll cut it out so this is the neckline you can see then for that um overlap that is at the front we have to take the measurement so, so the measurement i'm using now is now going to be 8.5 inches you can see this is my line of 8.5 inches just to know this center and you can see it there so i'll now go ahead and come in with uh one inch this is the one inch i'm talking about then had the upper part there i will be making it so 1.5 inches then i'm going to connect it together so by the time we cut this out we join our shoulder the neck must not be too tight so anything i'm doing on the neckline i'm going to show it to you because if the neckline is a little bit tight or come up you can low it to give us our perfect neckline After the connection, the next thing that remains here is to cut it out. Then I will now start from here. I'm starting from this area. Then slant it up a little bit. Like this. You can see now. You can see. So. We are done with the cutting of the neckline for the front you can see but i'm thinking this area will be too small so i want to go down a bit i want to go down with a uh, one inch like this let me go down with one inch then connect it up so that that place will be a little bit wide you can see it now this is what i'm talking about that if i want to make any effect i'm going to show it to you you can see what we have having now so i think this is okay by the time we hold it so that we still have a neckline so we just have to trim this area too we're going to remove some inches up to 0 0.2 0 0.2 at this point so that this slant line will be obvious a little bit you can see now i'm just going to cut it out just a little bit so we are done with the front neckline and the nice thing to cut out here is the back neckline so the widest of the neckline at the back also is going to be 3.5 inches and then the deepness is going to be 2.5 inches what we use for the neckline at the front before we now lower it down with one inch so the neckline at the front is now 3.5 inches and this one is 2.5 inches so it's okay we cannot cut it out So we are done with the back neckline so here the the two taping at the front you know it has a taping that is going to go into the front neckline you know you're going to fold this like this we have done many tutorial on how to fix this so we're going to fold it and the wideness of this now is um 3.5 inches now by the time we fold it into two it will be three point to it will be 1.75 and what we needed is 1.5 so it's 0 0.5 is going for the same allowance and that's where it's going to be and there's going to be a straight one like this this is the plain one that we want to use to make a standing collar the way it is on the thumbnail so then you fold it into two like this you can see and place it here the first one is going in, the second one is going into to give us that cross um, design at the center of the chest you can see then here is my gum stay because we have to gum stay all this to make it um, stand so by the time we are placing it it's going to stand so let me go and join everything together and show you the finishing so after the joining of the shoulders we now realize this area will not give us what we need so we have to 
expand it as in the wideness of this area must be a little bit wider than this you can see they will now connect it from here then slant it up here so that's what i'm going to do now just to give us what we want so you can see it now you can see what we are having here yes this is a uh, perfect one so you cannot go ahead after trimming this you cannot go ahead and go and add our band to it, the front small band that i want to add to the chest line so when we open in this is what it's giving out you can see the center of the front and you can see the center at the back so you cannot go ahead now and go ahead our bands to the neck line but we are having the front one first we hand it up then we had the back one you can see the way we stitch this in now you can see the one side you can see the right side you can see both are sitting on that line you can see it now you can see how beautiful this is so this is the one we are using as the standing color you can see so i'm just trying to know the length at which we are going to use and cut the remaining one then join it to it you can see so so yeah the finished work so far this is after joining everything together you can see how beautiful the neckline turns out if you are cutting this out i told you make use of three yard of any fabric of your choice if you're watching for the first time what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and for those who have already subscribed i really appreciate you guys for clicking on my video always see my next tutorial bye